Well, it's official. UK house prices have seen an increase of 0.9% in the month of October, with some people saying it's a massive surprise. Hmm, but where's this rise come from? Well, it's simply because it's the lack of properties on the market for buyers to choose from. The increase in property prices has seen an average amount of 1,600 quid adding to the property prices in comparison to where they were before. It's kind of like the old supply and demand. You see, if you don't know what supply and demand is, do you remember this guy? Where have you come from? He sold bottles of Prime for £100 simply because you couldn't get them anywhere. I actually found a news article where he sold one for £1,000. Mad, isn't it? When you could get them in the shops at Asda and Co-op, for example, they were sold for £2, £2.50, but you could only buy a few at a time. Now, I don't know if you've ever had Prime, but in my opinion, it tastes like do I think it will continue like this? Well, if we look at the data, property prices are down 5.5% so far in 2023. And if we put the rise to low supply and demand, absolute. You see, the market is in a little bit of a weird situation. Mortgage rates have increased fairly quickly in the later part of the year. And personally, I've seen rates as high as about 7%. Yeah, they're coming down right now, which is great to see. But perceived high interest rates will prevent people wanting to buy property anyway, both home movers and first time buyers, leaving only the desperate, those that are desperate to move and those that are desperate to buy. Because of my day job, I see things from a mortgage standpoint and things are starting to change and that's in a positive way too. I mean, on my daily commute alone, I'm starting to see more and more for sale signs and sold signs next to properties. And I'm seeing more than, to be honest, that I've seen in a long time. It's like one thing's got to give, it's either the interest rates reducing or property prices reducing. It can't go up like this. And I'm telling you something, it won't go down like this. Because if, you're, if interest rates are lower, people can afford more of a price. So therefore, prices naturally go up and people start to move. So I think we're starting to see something. It could either be a blip. It could be the desperate starting to buy houses because let's face it, there's no real competition out there for properties so leave it with me and i'll report back to you and if you want to know subscribe